Hey what's up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make your own piggy items in Roblox Studio and this is actually really cool because if you click on an item you can use it and then you can swap it out with another item say I wanted the yellow key and it swaps out and everything and they all work, everything works, there's loads of this stuff and I'll sh I today I'm going to be showing you how to actually make this, this is for someone that requested it um, he's making his own piggy map so I'll put his um, Roblox name in the description if you want to go play them he's making his own piggy map so I wanted to just like um, Make them, and you can mess about with a load of this stuff. Actually, there's a load of things you can do here. Put that down, then you get the code. Look at that, and then you can go over here. Use a code there. Use a code there. And it's, it's really cool. It's a really cool model. Um, I'm, today I'm going to be showing you how to make it, and I just want to find the wrench. There it is. And everything works all good, and I um, yeah. Let me show how you how to make. It. So the first thing you want to do is you want to actually create a new Base player, okay. So you want to click on the plus new of when you open Roblox Studio and you want to click on base player, okay. And this will give you a completely blank base player. And then you want to make sure you've got open your explorer, your tool blocks, and your properties, okay. You don't need the properties open, but it's best to just open it. You want to go to search on models. And what you want to do is pick, search up piggy kit, okay. Just search up piggy kit. I'll put the model link in the description. And then it's this very first one is piggy item and event. And you want to drag it into the world. And there you go. So once you've got that, you'll have these all of these items here now. What you want to do is you want to have a look on your explorer side now. You can get rid of Bob. You don't want Bob, okay? And neither do you want that part underneath. All you want is a bit the folder that says events and items, okay? And you want to open up that folder. And the first thing you want to do is you want to go down to the instructions. It's going to say what you have to do, okay? So what you want to do is you want to um, put the items into the events. What you want to do is grab the item name, put it in value name, the item name. You don't have to do that, okay? You want to start from here. So for the working items, you want to put the folder names tools into replicated storage. You want to grab your folder tools and drag it and then put it into replicated storage just like that. Okay? That's with all your items in that. And then the next one is for item switching. And you want to just put the folders. So I'll show you what it's going to be like at the moment. So it's going to get rid of that. And this is what it's going to do, okay? So when you do that, it will um it will just like pick up the item and then it will pick it up again but like it will stack up in your inventory like this really if you picked up an orange wait no that doesn't even work no so it doesn't even work when you don't put the switching items in so what you then want to do is grab switching items so we're sw uh yeah grab item switching and put that into replicated storage as well okay and then and you also want to put in um tool handles so you want to put tool handles into replicated storage and then what all you'll have next is clickable tool handles and piggy puzzles then ones you can keep in there okay next thing you want to do is click on item switching go to properties and turn value on to true okay so click value until it goes to tick and then you can test it now so what you want to do is press play here it'll spawn you right above where you're standing in that and then all you've got to do is just walk over to the items and you can click on the items to say I want a dynamite, there we go, I've got the dynamite. And then you can switch them out as well, you see. So you switch out, and then you can grab dynamite, and then you can go to dynamite, or wherever that is. Over there it is. And it's got literally a, a lot of items here. And you can literally click on that, that, uh, how do you do it? Is this a dynamite wall? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Okay, let me try again, let me try again. Uh, grab the... Let's grab the blue key. Over here, does it work? Oh. Yeah, so that, like that, you see? It works nicely, and then there's, there's a load of stuff you can play around with here. I don't know why the, why the dynamo wasn't working now. Um, you can grab the potion bottle. You can go fill it up. You can even do the tank, you can see there. And um, potion bottle, fill it up. Grab the potion bottle, put the potion bottle in, put the potion in there. There you go, and then you'll open that safe eventually. But yeah, it's a really, really fun thing to do. You can play around with it in that. Um, let me do the tank. I really want to do the tank. And you can go over here, click on the tank. And there it goes. And then there's also oh, that's that wall. That's why I'll find a dynamite wall in a second. Then my fault. Um, grab the bullet. There it is. There's a load of items, a load of things. You can even use the elevator from the book to safe place. Click on that. Yeah, that blows up nice 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 that that's the dynamite one there is um yeah there's a, there's a load of stuff here Every, everything kills you you don't want you can even miss the stitches so if i grab the torch 
we have the lit torch and if you go over to Mr. Stitchy which is over here you see him and the candles are there Oops, I want to get past the RB battle things are here you've got the skelly here put his skelly in there you can send him to the ground put the candles in here I light the candles up and then Mr. Stitch will spin. I'm not going to light them all at the moment because I want to show you a few more things before I do that. This works. That's a, that's a kill brick. Oh no, yeah, it's alright. That's a kill brick, so if you land too high, you'll die. Um, if you fall from too high, you'll die. That's what that does. Um, you will die if, you hold, if you're holding the item though. If you're holding the item and you die, you'll lose the item. So, you got that, and then if you grab the elevator key, where's the elevator key? There it is. There's the elevator key, and there's also this as well. You've got all book two stuff. You got this where you can put in the code. You got zero, zero six nine. Ready? Look zero first, and you got six. You got nine. It works. And then if you want, you can even come over here, and you got the kit, the thing that would be kitty, and then when you step in front of it, it alarms the piggy. That's quite cool. You could turn on the elevator. There we go. It's really nice. Um, I'm gonna wait for him to get off my back. So I can actually move. Excuse me, there we go. And then you c the gun sadly doesn't work though. You cannot do the gun, which is sad, but that's alright. Um, what else can we do here? We can grab the um, ladder. We can grab the ladder and we can go use the ladder. You've got literally every key card door, every key door. It's pr pretty cool. I will leave this model link in the description and just follow the. Um, things I did and then you can go in the elevator like this got eight, 8 seconds, it has a counter on it and everything there's a safe there uh, you got three, two, one, and then it'll work the doors will close you'll be inside the elevator and you'll start moving up and then the doors will open again like that and then you, you're outside and then you're at the top then that's pretty cool and I, I really like this um, Model po pony just looks like pony. Uh, I'm not quite sure what he looks like. But yeah, ladders usable and everything. You can use Mimi in the safe place thing. Um, there is the. There's a few other items as well. You got the garage. This garage door. If you grab the remote control. Where is it? The remote control is somewhere, but I can't find it. There it is. Grab this remote control and you can open up these garages or the you got loads of them things. And they they got some glass doors and everything else. And that's really loud. That's really loud. that's really loud. But you guys you can just mess about with it. You got this machine here as well. You can use a three, one, two, three, four, five, three, and you get a coin. It's quite cool. And I'll, I'll also show you the Miss Stitchy. So I, I, unfortunately I lost the torch, so I'm going to grab the other torch. And come over to campfires. Light it up. And you can run through here. Over back over to Miss Stitchy. Oops. And you can light up the last one and then it will spawn. And then you're only miss getting back in that corner, remember, so. I can't do that because he's it's too light low in the moment. He does he doesn't have an elevation, that's right. Anyway guys, that's pretty much how to do that. It's pretty really really simple. Um there's not much else you have to do to be honest, that's pretty much it. You can colour these, you can change them. Um I'm not sure at the moment I might make another tutorial how to change the item it releases. This one releases a code, that's a white key, that's the blue key card. I'll I'll mess about with it, I'll see what I can do. Um if you want to change them, you just go to the item and then you've got the event and you've got the frame, which is the actual building or which is the actual thing. So if you go to that and then you go script, see it's just comes up with this. Now, I don't understand much of this to be honest. I really don't understand much of this. But then, um, items name, block left, tool required, two item scripts, so uh, I don't know what this is. Okay, yeah. Claw, fake item shown. So you can change the fake item shown if you want to. Put the white key in there, and then you can do interaction. No, uh, I think GUI. Um, yeah, it this one takes quite a while for the claw to actually work it, but it's all right. Um, yes, yeah, so I think the script that says fake items shown 
Um, it'll, say, it'll say it somewhere. Um, but fake art I'm showing you. If you just rename the key, so if you put the key in there, copy of it, and then just rename it fake art I'm showing, it should work. That's good. Um, yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to never miss another video. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.